So just close your eyes and let's take some nice, easy breaths to draw the breath down as far as you can into your body. And you might note where your body is moving just so you have a point of reference. I want you to see that chakra as a red globe or orb, crystal, translucent, sparkling. And I'm going to read a few clearing statements first. And with each clearing statement, this orb should become a little larger and a little clearer, and a little more sparkly. And it should be spinning also in a nice, gentle, uh, clockwise pattern rotation. I release and let go of everything I am afraid of. And then maybe repeat that to yourself, say, three times quietly yourself. I release and let go of everything that I am afraid of. I release and let go of my fears of abandonment. I release and let go of my feelings of persecution. So now here are some affirmations. So I'll say them and then repeat them to yourselves three times. I am safe and secure and I have everything I need. I am stable and steady and can easily navigate life's path. I am strong and able. I am respected and loved. I matter. I am important. I am worthy. I matter and I am worthy and important. And so now this chakra should be 
very large, protruding from both sides of you, all sides of you, extending out, radiating out, And what you can know is that even during this time when we're staying physically separate from people, that right now, if you were to go walk down the most crowded street in any big city in the world, that as you walked down that street, the sense that you matter and that you're worthy and important and that you're strong and able and respected and loved and stable and steady and safe and secure and have everything you need is washing over everybody you pass. And through you, the collective becomes stronger. The HeartMath Institute claims that your heart energy can be measured 18 miles away. So think of what you can do for the world with your balanced chakra. You can radiate those feelings of safety and security, of balance, of importance, of love. Not just to yourself and all your other chakras, but out into the world, into the collective. You can become a beacon of strength, not just for yourself. But for everyone, your orb contacts, everywhere your energy flows. So for the next couple of minutes, just envision the light flowing up from the core of the earth, up through the chakra, traveling up through the other chakras, see them just spinning. We're not gonna spend any time with any of them, but this root chakra is going to help all of them. And they're all going to spin and take that power of security and stableness. And see that light traveling up your spine, through those chakras, all the way up. Feel the top of your head grow warm as that light leaves, travels upward into the clouds beyond and connecting with the sun above. And with your next breath in, draw that light down. Down through the crown, down through all your spinning chakras, down into your root. See that root just glowing, spinning. Little dazzles of light twinkling all around it and see that light continue down through the legs, through your feet, into the earth, all the way down to the core and the other ball of light that brackets us. Then with your next breath, draw that light up, 
feel that column between the light below and the light above strengthening. The more you work it, the lighter you feel. And you want to start making a transition back to the 3D world. Try to hang on to that feeling of lightness as you come back. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes.